Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to never run out of ideas by merging and stealing inspirations and putting them all together and literally creating the bullshit that's creative as fuck. So the first step is to actually go ahead and find your target or your victim. Now this might sound terrible but it really isn't you know a lot of people do this the biggest creatives the biggest artists the biggest rappers musicians whatever they're all stealing shit from somewhere so all we're gonna do is do the exact same shit they do so i go on pinterest and right now i'm gonna you know look up some rock cover art and the reason i'm looking up some rock cover art is because you know a lot of underground motherfuckers are using rock inspirations and people don't even know about it because they're two completely well they're not even completely different genres just one listens but this is a good example of like kind of the dynamic between stealing things you want to steal things that are you know people don't really know about or people aren't really tuned into things that are outside of your like kind of genre or your, your box or whatever now there's the difference between stealing and taking inspiration from we're gonna be stealing but you know it's really just inspiration right stealing is just a if you steal some shit you're copying and pasting it and it looks like this all right boom just to add on to this point stealing versus inspiration bro when you're taking inspiration you're taking inspiration from the colors the effects the um composition etc etc and you're merging it all into one when you're stealing something you're literally taking like an image and you're putting like maybe an effect on it like a lot of people do that. I see a lot of people doing that. And it's some bullshit. Come on, be a bit creative, bro. That's why I'm making this shit. I'm trying to help you out, bro. Just stop that shit, bro. And when you're looking for inspiration, what you're looking for is really just the color, the composition, also kind of like the backgrounds or um, different effects you can take and just implement into your own uh, cover. And that just creates a nice, unique blend between everything. Um, and what I like to do as well is kind of create a mood board in Photoshop, just adding all the images in, just copying and pasting them and just having them there just so you can take each element from them and, you know, stick them into the cover. So I'm going to do that right now and I'm going to show you guys, you know, what I want to create. So these are all completely different inspirations that you guys, you can literally just take these and implement them into your own design. So I'm going to break these down uh the what i kind of want to take out of these so for this one here i kind of want to take the the lightning strike going into them so maybe not this exact formation but something like this um for this one i really like the glass so we could put like glass break in there like let me show you guys some shit like that where like the glass is breaking uh for this i really like the composition of text it really makes it look like um like a game it looks like a ps3 game like i really like that shit um for this i kind of like the contrast between colors like orange purple um and then for this it was really so for this it's really just the flares like the textures here and this kind of fish eye look here like where it's blurred here has a bit of depth um it's not really too specific on this because it won't really match this if i went for the colors you know um but yeah just kind of you know just getting an idea you know kind of form it forming a idea in your head um you also want to you know have a rapper in mind i don't have a rapper in mind so i'm gonna have to go and find out but yeah let's get straight into the fucking cover so for the sake of the video i won't be you know upscaling these images um because my shit isn't updated my gpu isn't updated i'm trying to get this video out right so my fault all right my fault so i'm gonna keep it like so keep it like that i'm gonna convert that to my object and we are going to you know do a little bit of color correction here boom grade him up overlay Bring it down a bit and we're gonna make the background black all right so now you guys know what i'm working with hopefully you guys can see the vision just based off of these so you know it's low quality shit it's all in one image because uh my pc crashed unfortunately so i had to get it all in one image but i'm having an idea with these having them like kind of down here like like a mosh pit making it purple and then like like a sky I don't, I don't even know, like some shit like that. 
like a orangey sky. I have like a crack here somewhere, maybe some lightning. And then like I said before, like this kind of depth of field blur. And we might do the text still, I'm not really sure. Um, you know, you don't have to obviously stick to your fucking inspirations. You can you know, mess around with shit. But yeah, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and find some sort of mosh pit image. Like, um, because if I went for like the zombie kind of style, like that shit would look so retarded. But since it's underground rap, you know, they love mosh pits and shit. No, fuck it, we'll do that. So I think this image would actually work really well. Like, I don't know, it's kind of like a weird perspective. But I think it, I think it works, like, if we have it, like, here. Make it smaller, obviously. We can have it there, and then we can, like, duplicate it. Bring it up a little bit more. Or, yeah, kind of like, kind of like there. And then we can just control J, bring it over, look horizontal, and just, like, match it like that. And you can obviously create a layer mask there. Blend it in. Once you have that, shit, what I'm gonna do is... Yo, this, this is a fire ass composition, god damn. Shit, yo, that's trippy as fuck. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna just work on some adjustments. Because, you know, that's just how I like to work. I need to see it. I need to see how it's gonna turn out. Um, expose or vibrance bring that down um and then for the crowd we're obviously going to make this purple like just purple house crowd boom yes sir and then we're going to get like a sky i'm not really sure what kind of sky but um maybe like a fiery sky is that even a word yes yeah Okay, I'm not looking for a motherfucking painting, bitch. <clears throat> okay. Something like this, maybe. You have that in the background. So, I'll probably get rid of this tree, too. I mean, it's, it, it, no need for it. It's a bit unnecessary. Just get the, mic or the lasso tool. Just, you know, cut it out like so. Just remove it. But yeah, the whole purpose or the whole aim for this is to just um, literally copy the composition, steal the compositions, and then um, steal the colors, steal different elements, and turn it into your own thing. You know, you, you got really just experiment with it. Uh, a lot of things you're gonna be like, oh no, I know how to do that. You gotta just try, bro. You just gotta try, and that's how you. Um, that's how you really like get better and level up and become more unique. The harder it is to do, the more unique you're going to be because not a lot of people people are going to see that and be say the exact same shit. No, I can't do that. But if you guys can do that, boom, that's a fucking win right there. All right. So obviously we got the money. It's a bit fucked up, but uh, for the purpose of the video. We're just gonna keep it like that, right? So I'm gonna focus on the lighting. So I want a lot of the lighting, like a lot of the board and shit like that. Nope. Coming from maybe the crowd too. Even like little highlights. Like just like now with the money shit. I'm gonna just leave the money like that. I'm not really like just for the video, you know. You guys obviously were fine to please if you're doing this like concept and shit like that. But um yeah so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and grab some lightning now texture labs has the best uh texture for a lightning strike that i've seen so we're just gonna use that it's here somewhere hopefully it's here on the second page nope. uh put that to light linear dodge and we will perspective it bring it out a bit like this and kind of bring it in like so and just have it kind of lighten in his arms like this i think that shit would look hard as fuck and i'm gonna change the color on it as well change the uh thing like that boom obviously we're gonna add some more glow as well 
But uh, I'm gonna merge. Never mind. Uh, well, actually, I might just merge them and then do the same shit. In your dodge, and then control U, change the color. And shit, we might change it to like yellow. That shit might be crazy. Uh, create a new layer above that, just to you know add a glow on top of it, just to make it you know crazy, some crazy ass glow. Boom. Now I might actually change the perspective of the audience perspective. Hmm. Oh, it's kind of, it's so weird, bro. I don't I don't know if I like this or if I don't like this. Like it's weird as fuck. Oh wait, hold on. Let me just surf it. <laughs> like have it like surfing. Alright, and then we can add a wave to it as well. Oh shit, that would, that'd be tough. See, this is the type of shit you guys need to do. Like, you just gotta, like, just be like, oh shit, that might be hard. Let me try that out. Let me try that shit out. Alright. I'm gonna add some glow to the audience too, just so it's not so flat. We'll do maybe bold purple and a bit of orange there. Put it to linear dodge. up a bit like so and yeah now i want to add that glass kind of effect texture labs has that too i think hopefully uh no they don't both like right here breaking the fucking fort walls <laughs> you uh, right. now i'm gonna add you know just like fucking Solid color, boom. Noise, add noise. Uh, I'm gonna do my little trick. If you are new to the channel, you might not know the little trick, but what I like to do is I like to click on the top layer, hold shift, go down to the bottom, control G, control J, control E, control A, control J, and then control J again. Control J is to duplicate if you guys don't know, but uh, yeah. So I like to flip the vertical scale up like so it's like some saint saint rose shit i don't know i'm gonna like blur it out a bit like maybe like six and then just go through blend modes kind of see like what catches your eye so something like that color dodge hard grab that right here Like shit like that like that that makes it crazy like look at that before and after boom like just get rid of like some little details crazy now my favorite thing to do is literally to just a quick plug real quick this is my favorite thing to do is just to put into my adjustment pack it really does boost covers bro it's crazy i'm gonna show you guys so just you know you just want to merge your cover together like all your effects and shit you're gonna bring it in just drag it in here like so open up this layer hide this bring it into test images and boom you can just filter through them like this let me go into here you can adjust these as well so like like i even have a black and white layer into it so you guys can literally just make it black and white and then what i like to do is just add color in and this creates like this really nice like dynamic between you know a really nice color contrast i guess um but yeah even just getting rid of that cover or that gradient map that boosts it a little bit um i might just use the hue and saturation though and just like mess around with it but yeah that's that's basically the whole cover a little gem for you guys too make sure you guys hold shift get your rulers out right so if you guys don't know how to get your rulers out control or uh bring it over Make sure it's out 200 so this will be 2800 then you bring this one down to 802 or actually i'm gonna do 2900 actually 
And then we're going to put our parental advisory in here. Just to have it nice and geometrically lined up. You just want to make it small. Just nice. Nice and small. Visible. You feel me? And yeah. Shit like that, bruh. Shit like that, man. But yeah, that's basically the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe. Also, check out the adjustment pack like I said before. Level up your designs. I'm telling you guys, this is a real game changer. I'm not even exaggerating. I use this all the time to speed up my designs. To give me different ideas. Different alternative ideas. And they even just like, just brightens up your idea. I'm using ideas so much. But you get the point, bro. Like, it, it brings out the best in your cover arts. And I'm updating it regularly. I'm updating it all the time as well. 